Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we are going to get right into the weekly outlook for the sign of Virgo. But before I start this video, I just wanted to uh, tell you all, as I have in all of the previous videos for the weeklies, to just um, remember that at a time like this when everyone around the world is really going through a lot of uncertainty, we're going through a pretty unprecedented time in modern history, to just um, be kind to each other. I hope you stay safe and I hope you all stay as healthy as you can. And um, just uh, remember to stay true to who you truly are, right? Okay, guys, before we get into it, the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook box set is a box set that I'll be giving away this month on my channel. Each month I'll be giving away a tarot deck or an oracle deck. And March 31st, I will announce the winner. And all you have to do, obviously, to be in the running is to be subscribed to my channel. Leave me a comment letting me know that you're interested in being in the drawing, and that's it. Now, I will let you know that if you do not publicize your subscriptions, if you don't make them public on your homepage on YouTube, I have no way of knowing if you're subscribed to my channel, and you will not be in the drawing, unfortunately, because I simply won't know if you are a subscriber, okay? All right, guys, so let's get right into it for Virgo. We're going to pull out your Romance Angel messages. For this week, coming up, it's uh, March 22nd to the 29th. And uh, then we'll go ahead and pull out your animal spirits. All right, we have Straight Out Virgo, Unrequited Love. You see this card is quite beat up. I think that that is just symbolic of the energy, right? We have Love Yourself. Right, this has come out a lot. I think almost like uh, at least four or five of the readings so far I've done, Love Yourself has come out. And we have codependency, Virgo. <clears throat> so some of you are dealing with the toxic situation of codependency. We'll see. Or there may be, you know, there may be um, some other details that come out in the reading as we go along. All right, guys, so let's pull out your animal spirits. Animal spirits can come in the form of energies uh, that are becoming available to you or individuals that you may or may not be dealing with, right? So let's go ahead and uh, just see what animal spirits may be in your life this week resonating with you. And then we'll get right into your outlooks, okay? We have straight out the cheetah. Love this animal spirit. Strong fire energy, Virgo. We have the earthworm. This also came out earlier. I believe it was for Taurus. And we have the panther. More fire energy. Of course, the earthworm is earth animal spirit. All right, guys. So cheetah is associated with fire. And it is basically one of the highest animal spirits in the deck for that pure masculine solar energy, right? The cheetah is associated with having purpose, right? A purpose that is so single-minded and focused that it is absolutely unstoppable. Uh, the cheetah is absolutely unstoppable in trying to manifest its purpose. This is someone who generally... Um, I'm going to say they emit such a power and such a drive, right, that they can be absolutely awe-inspiring to watch, right? This is someone who really achieves great feats, uh, really has, um, has a lot of energy, obviously, has a lot of vision, has a lot of direction, but it's very single-minded. It's very purposeful. It's like when you see a cheetah in the wild going after its prey, you know, it's really incredible to watch it, you know, she's locked in. And that's exactly what the animal spirit of the cheetah is like. This is absolutely the type of spirit we want to see if you're trying to achieve a particular objective that is very, very important to you um, and that is difficult to achieve, that requires a lot of um, energy and, and a lot of uh, passion and a lot of determination, right? Very strong animal spirit, one that I really, really love. Now, the earthworm is an earth animal spirit clearly and this is the animal spirit for the novice right the student the person who is just now learning something a new talent a new skill and oftentimes the earthworm is very shy about showing this right very shy about coming out of the ground um this can be a feeling of uh, insecurity right that comes out 
Um, but it is a, it is a temporary energy because um, like all novices, like all students, eventually you begin to gain experience, you begin to increase your skill level, and um, <clears throat> it's it's just a momentary energy. It's an energy energy that's going to pass, and it's interesting because the earthworm is in is in the spirit animal. There really hasn't shown up a lot for my readings at all. Uh, maybe I would say a, once or twice before, maybe at the most a handful of times in all of the readings I've done for this channel. And now it's shown up twice in one week. And I think that this is just because so many of us right now are really out of our element, right? We are experiencing something we have never, ever experienced before. And it is making a lot of us feel insecure, worried, anxious, um, and unsure of ourselves. But like I said, the, the blessing here with the earthworm is that this feeling will pass as you get used to this, uh, to this new way of life momentarily, temporarily, and as you begin to find your feet. Now the panther is more fire energy. And a panther is associated with annihilation and chaos, all right? Uh, the panther energy is, it's a type of animal spirit. Its energy comes into your life and pounces, right? This is generally when we have a devastating event happening or we have, you know, just something that comes out of the blue that just is thrown into the mix and causes absolute chaos. Not surprising that the panther would show up. However, again, another blessing with the panther is that the energy that it brings, the chaos that it brings, the breakdown of what we consider the status quo and the normal environment you're used to is necessary for your growth. Right, And oftentimes what happens with the panther is that once all the dust is settled and clear, you suddenly find yourself with many, many new opportunities, many, many new options, right? And much, much more room for growth. It is essentially an energy that is being brought down from the divine. It happens out of our hands. There's nothing we can do to control it. But the end result is absolutely positive and necessary for us to oftentimes get over a blockage or to get over, uh, a, you know, to break through a ceiling that has kept us down, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, let's get right into your spread, Virgo. We're going to pull out some cards for you. All right, now this, uh, these outlooks, these uh, forecasts for the week are intended to be separate from each other. They are intended to be for separate Virgos, so you may or may not resonate with all of them, or you may only resonate with a portion of them, and that's absolutely fine. So let's just see what some of you may be dealing with. And of course, if this reading doesn't apply to your life at all, please just let it go. It is not for you. If you're confused by the reading, if you don't understand the reading as it applies to you, this reading is not for you. All right, Page of Swords, Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, two pages and a 10. Well, right away, I'm going to tell you that pages are always earth, right? Pages are earth, uh, knights are air, queens are water, and kings are fire, always. Pages are also always associated with overcoming fear in that suit, right? So here we have Page of Swords, the earthy aspect of swords, the earthy aspect of air, the practical side of it. Page of Swords is associated with uh, someone who is uh, fighting against negative self-image, fighting against self-doubt, fighting against low self-esteem or low confidence. This is someone who is going to sort of, you can see there, they're raising that sword of truth and confidence up to sort of fight off anyone or anyone's energy that is meant to bring them down, to make them believe that they are not capable of fulfilling their destiny or fulfilling their plans, right? And so this is a very strong, enthusiastic, and sort of positive energy to come into the week with, and you're absolutely resonating with this, Virgo. During this week, interestingly enough, you come across certain events and experiences that resonate with the Ten of Wands. And this is a feeling of things having become so oppressive that you are absolutely finally now ready to let them go. Ten of Wands um, really talks about burdens that you've carried, right? Responsibilities that really aren't yours to carry, burdens that you've carried, um, 
uh, baggage that you've uh, held on to, right? Um, and so you're realizing that the baggage, the burden, the things that you've been carrying with you just simply are weighing you down so much that there's no other choice but to let them go. All right, this is a feeling of release. This is a feeling of finally being unburdened and unhindered, right? Uh, and being able to stand strong and make your own way. So it's quite interesting. Uh, we've had a lot of 10 show up for the weekly readings so far. And I'm going to say that this is absolutely a good thing. It's going to feel like a breakthrough. All right. And I think to a certain degree, of course, the spirit of the Panther is in because to a certain degree, this 10 of wands may come in as a chaotic event. You may have an experience this week or an event this week that happens that feels like, oh my God, what the fuck? How did this happen? You know, but it will lead you to a place where you are free from baggage, free from burden, free from unnecessary responsibilities that you've taken on. And you're going to be able to uh, see much clearer and uh, move forward with intention. By the end of the week, you round off with a page of pentacles. And it's interesting because you right away get right back to work and start, boom, doing what you need to do. Page of pentacles is earth of earth energy. So we're talking about someone who's very practical, very handy, very logical, um, you know, able to come up with quick solutions to problems, right? Just getting it done, you know, getting the tasks done, the nitty gritty, getting in there and doing what you need to do, uh, to, uh, move towards your ultimate, uh, career business and, and health and wealth, right? Very, very nice. And it's feeling like, certainly like you're going to be hitting the ground running with this page of pentacles after this 10 of wands event happens because you have let go of so much, right? Um, I love the page of pentacles in a lot of ways because it's really just that kind of grounded energy that doesn't get caught up in all of the minutia, but simply gets the job done. Very, very nice indeed. Four of wands, Virgo. Oops. Knight of Pentacles and a Four of Cups. Well, some of you are coming into this week with a Four of Wands energy. There's a special relationship in your life that has really um, quickly risen up to a level of commitment that is a twin flame journey. A lot of times people call that a twin flame journey. The Four of Wands is definitely, of course, it's the 1111 card. It's um, Venus and Aries energy. So it's definitely a love connection that oftentimes is new. Or it could be a friendship that very quickly, uh, that very, very quickly resonates up to a love connection, right? Four of Wands, we're talking about stability. Four is always the number for stability in the tarot. And four of Wands is when two people come together with such equal respect and love that they have everything that they need uh, to move forward together very quickly, very progressively. Um, <clears throat> it's very nice energy. Coming into the week, though, you are met with a Knight of Pentacles. So this is interesting. I'm going to say this is a desire. Maybe it could be even uh, from your from your partner here, a desire to um, either set a path in motion towards a particular objective or to carry on a path that you've already been on, right? Knight of Pentacles is absolutely committed uh, to an objective. And generally this will be an objective of manifesting something in the material. It could be a career objective, a business objective. It could be an objective of, uh, um, increasing your health, right? Increasing your well being. Pentacles are not only associated with money and finance, the realm of pentacles, which is the earth realm, um, is also associated with health and the body and taking care of the body. It's associated with doctors and nurses and healthcare practitioners, as well as those people who may uh, specifically be working in finance or business, right? As well as career objectives. So it's interesting that, you know, the Knight of Pentacles being one of the most committed knights in the deck 
is really, uh, you know, putting all of his effort and his intention and his focus towards a material manifestation, right? Something that you want to bring into a materialization, right? Something that you're wanting to create that's tangible, that's tactile, that you can touch, right? And so this is very much a bit of the cheetah coming in for you, certainly because there's a drive here. There's a determination and a focus, right? Now, I feel like this could be the partner that you're connecting with right? Um, or it could even be someone else in your life coming in and trying to perhaps guide you, help you, or assist you towards a path of financial abundance, health, and wealth, right? It's certainly going to be um, events, conversations, experiences this week that are going to center around that, right? They're going to center certainly around that journey towards health, good health, and abundance and wealth. By the end of the week, you round off with a four of cups. And this is interesting also. It's very a very weird mix of cards here because it really seems to indicate like a knock-on effect, right? Because by the end of the week, someone is offering some help to you and you absolutely don't want it, right? You absolutely don't want it. So yet, although this week you do come up against the Knight of Pentacles, which is going to increase your desire and your commitment to a particular path, there is also now someone else who comes in by the end of the week who's trying to help you, assist you, or impact this path, and you absolutely want none of it. It feels to me like you're dealing with three separate people here, right? Four of Wands being a lover, Nine of Pentacles being someone coming in who is inspiring you or who is perhaps assisting you towards your ultimate goal, and another person who then comes in and wants to impact all of that, but who you want no piece of. So if you're resonating with this reading, please do sound off below. This is a very interesting mix of cards for you, Virgo. Emperor Energy, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This is the last spread for you guys. Emperor Energy, some of you are coming in. This week with this energy, you may be a uh, leader in your field. You may be a boss, an employer. You're definitely um, the head honcho, right? The emperor is the divine masculine. And oftentimes he is certainly associated with bringing order to chaos. So, of course, you are not only uh, the leader, the one in charge, the one with authority, but you are also... Um, you are the one who's going to, who wants to bring uh, order, right? You may even be wanting to uh, maintain the status quo, right? This is very different than sort of like the King of Wands, right? Which is a much more idealistic individual, a lot more eccentric and quirky. The Emperor's only objective most of the times really is to conquer new territory and bring his idea of order to that territory. Nevertheless, you are in a position of authority, Virgo, and you're coming into this week with this. Can be that also people are looking to you for a sense of direction. In the middle of coming into the week, you are met with an Eight of Cups energy. So, uh... I'm going to say that the Eight of Cups here certainly is a desire to move away from certain relationships that don't suit you anymore, relationships that are not worth your energy, relationships that you have been pouring your energy into and you realize you haven't been getting any of that back, right? And so you're turning your back on certain people this week, right? You're making certain decisions about who you're going to trust, who you're going to deal with. And that's a very good thing. Eight is also the number, not only for strength, Major Arcana 8 is the strength card, but it is also the number for boundaries because maintaining your strength and enforcing your boundaries go hand in hand. Eight of Cups here can indicate that for some of you, you are enforcing or certainly putting into place certain boundaries with certain people that perhaps were not there before, but that are very much needed, right? Uh, this could also be in terms of protecting uh, your vision here or your objective here, that you need to keep certain people at a distance. You need to make sure that certain people are in their right place, right, in accordance with you. Um, and all of this really uh, serves to prop you up emotionally, strength-wise, um, and certainly helps you with whatever your objective is here coming in with the emperor. By the end of the week, you are dealing with a five of pentacles energy. Now, I generally, this is an energy of dealing with uh, a financial upset, right? Financial upheaval. 
having to start all over again after a breakup or after a divide. Fives are always the number for power struggle in tarot. And so here we're talking about a power struggle that is broken down and that has left you paying the price financially, right? Now, I don't feel like this is actually you, Virgo. I feel like this is someone in your life that you may be trying to help, okay? I think that perhaps, uh, or you may have aligned yourself with someone or with a group of people that are extremely marginalized and vulnerable. And I believe that, you know, my feeling here is that uh, their vulnerability and their need right now for assistance to help them pick up the pieces is part of your objective here with the emperor. Because remember I said the emperor brings order to chaos and five of pentacles can feel like a very chaotic event. In any case, whether you are the one going through it or somebody else is the one going through it, you are definitely stepping to the plate, as it were, and handling it, right? Very, very strong energy, a real strong feeling of the spirit of the cheetah, and for some of you, certainly that spirit of the panther coming in. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to uh, let me know if you're interested in the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook by being subscribed to my channel and leaving me a comment, letting me know that you're interested. And I'm going to end this video like I have ended all the other videos for this week, just to remind everyone, reminding myself, reminding all of you that this is a very difficult time for everyone. A lot of people all over the world, and I have viewers from all over the world. I just want you all to know that uh, this is a time for you to be your best self. This is a time to transcend, to rise above, a time for you to be kind to each other and also to be strong, right? To persevere and to remain uh centered and remain true to who you are in all things. Do not allow the panic and fear and the anxiety that is permeating society right now to get you off your square. Remember who you are and please stay safe and stay healthy out there. All right, guys, for right now, I'm going to say Virgo, have a good week and I will see you next week for your weekly general outlook. Bye-bye now.